Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GK Mix. In this video, I am going to talk about Ulf rearrangement. This is a very important rearrangement for NET, GATE and JAM examination. Okay, it's uh, in the syllabus of JAM examination, also in the NET and GATE examination. So, this kind of re uh, rearrangement actually occurs when alpha diazo carbonyl compound, that is this one, alpha diazo carbonyl compound. So, this is carbonyl group, this is alpha position and with alpha position, one diazo system is attached. So, that's why it's called alpha diazo carbonyl compound, which on treatment of heat or uh, light, sunlight, of course, H nu, uh, products, uh, the product, the product uh, that is formed is, of course, ketin. Okay, it's a ketin, that is C, double bond C and with this C double bond O that is carbon and alkene so this two ketone plus alkene so that is why it's ketone okay so how this uh, the, how the reaction mechanism is and what are the different reaction conditions what are the other things like so I am gonna discuss about all these things in this video so first let's talk about the rearrangement process or the reaction mechanism okay so to discuss this uh, let's take uh, first let's uh, have a look about the how alpha diazo carbonyl compound is formed okay so to form this one this is not a stable one like that so to form this one first let's take one acid chloride that is rcocl this is acid chloride of course when it is treatment with which one diazo methane it's a very strong uh, base you can say or uh, like that so this diazo methane will attack right here this the oxygen will get negative charge it will come back and thus Cl minus uh, will leave the system as Cl minus okay and what we get finally are CO then CH2 and N2 plus that is uh, if I uh, draw it like this then this is N2 plus okay this is N2 plus this is triple bond so this N2 plus further uh, will uh, leave the system by this treatment so now one important thing is that when this Cl minus leave the system then in the second step this Cl minus will attack one of these two hydrogen okay so this is acidic hydrogen of course why because this hydrogen acidic that means after forming the negative charge I am showing you so this one after forming these negative charge that is what is forming I am showing you that CH minus N2 plus so this negative charge is stabilized by the resonance this kind of resonance okay so because of this kind of resonance this negative charge is, uh, is stable and that's why this hydrogen uh, this proton can be easily extracted from the system okay and here HCl will release okay so after uh, deprotonation this intermediate is forming okay so I am drawing it like this like this this intermediate and here also the on positive charge on the nitrogen uh, N2 system now what will happen in the second step two kinds of possible rearrangement will uh, will uh, give the product and give the product okay so what are those uh, system what are the rearrangement so first let's let let's let's talk about this in the clear board okay uh, now this system will give the product via two possible mechanism so possible mechanism PM possible mechanism one. So in case of possible mechanism one, what we get? So let let's uh, let me draw this one again. R C O C H minus N two plus. Okay. So in, uh, by the treatment of heat or H nu heat or sunlight, what will happen? This system, this N two will leave the uh, leave the whole uh, system. So and what we get? We get one intermediate that is called CH and here two electrons that is called remember this one that is called keto that is called keto carbin why this is carbin and this is keto that, that's why it's called keto carbin and in the second step and of course with the uh, leaving of N2 gas nitrogen gas okay so now in the second step what will happen this keto carbon will rearrange like this okay so the keto carbon will rearrange so this will uh, be like this mechanism will be like that and this will go on the oxygen it will come back and this R group that is 
this group will come to this carbon atom and what we get the product we will get double bond O of course then double bond again then CH and R so if we draw this in a symmetrical manner what we get double bond O C double bond CH R ok so this is the product and you know what is this ok uh, this is a ketin of course this is ketone this is in ketin ok and in the second step that is in the, in the case of possible mechanism 2 what we get this will be the concert this is not the concentrated process concerted process because uh, 1 2 2 step mechanism it's but in case of possible mechanism 2 that will be the concerted process how because in that process also say this is the real uh, the product uh, this kind of compound that is forming over here and this is N2 plus ok so now here another thing is that this negative charge will be on this double base bond this will go on the oxygen atom this will come back and finally this R group will rearrange to this carbon atom and finally and to leave the system and what we get we get the same product here because how because this R is attached with this carbon atom and this is double bond double bond this is another double bond is forming that is this one is forming and CH and N2 leaves system minus N2 cash and then we will get the same product so the final product we are getting this is R CH double bond C double bond O so this is a alkene this is a ketene sorry uh, carb carbonyl so or ketone so this overall this is called ketene it, it's a ketene compound so this is all about the Wolf rearrangement from alpha diazo uh, carbonyl compound to alpha diazo, uh, alpha diazo carbonyl compound to of course a ketene formation reaction ok so this is all about the uh, Wolf rearrangement and here this kind of rearrangement that is R group is uh, migrating towards this carbon atom from this carbon atom this one to migration is called intramolecular migration because uh, it's intramolecular that means it's my it is migrating into this system it's not migrate like other uh, carbon other other system or other compound okay it's migrating uh, into this system also because it's connected to this compound and it's, it's migrating uh, in this compound also so that's why it's called intramolecular migration or intramolecular wolf rearrangement or wolf rearrangement in general okay so that's all about this element and thank you thanks for watching